feel like this right here best demonstrates how mango trees grow. It's truly a wonderful process. You can see the unraveling of the two new spawning leaves around the center core. So what you'll notice, I actually have all the growth stages here, but I wanted to show this one real fast because it's right mid-process and it's really cool to see them unspiraling from each other. So essentially what you start off with is like what you have right here. And I apologize, I'll put it in the description what this particular piece of the plant is called. I'm drawing a blank right now. But that is the first stage of growth. So the leaves will open up and in the middle there will be a little spike like this, just like you noticed on the inside of that one right there if you look closely, right in the middle. So what will happen is one of those will grow up. And let me see if I can see an example right here. So then as it grows up, it will start to thicken up and then a seam will show up on it, just like what you see right there in the middle. That white line is a seam starting to form. And that's that spike breaking in two. And so what will happen is as that spike breaks in two, it will start to unravel itself and it will look like this one up here. So it will start to look like there is that same spike underneath, but on the outside is almost like a raveling of leaves, like a cocoon around that center spike. And what will happen is those will loosen more and more, and they'll go from looking like, um, well, and I should point out, by the way, that there is a outer sleeve, like a, um, I, oh, right here is an example of it. It is exactly like, kind of like a cocoon. It protects that spike as it's splitting. So that thing you see right there is actually dead growth. I can reach onto it real quick and pull that off. So let's see, sorry, I'm trying to watch the camera and do this at the same time, but you can grab that. And I don't want to pull too tight because it's not ready to let go, but I don't want to harm the plant. But um, So yeah, that right there can actually come off. It's just like this, one that's already fallen off. Um, so it's just basically a protective sleeve that occurs. And then when that falls off, um, which is what you're starting to see right there. Um, that's actually one that was the outer sleeve that is starting to die and it's revealing the inner leaves spiraled around that spike in the middle. So that's the next stage of growth. And then what I showed you to start with is what it looks like when those two leaves start unraveling away from the center spike and start revealing. And then what it will ultimately do is open up to a set like this. Let me get around here. So you will have a center spike and two leaves. And mangroves always grow in this pattern. So this entire stem that you see right there was a spike that came off and it grew out. And right there is, again, a site where a spike came out, unraveled, and the stem continues to grow up and up. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus here. Um, but it just does that all the way along. And so that is how a mangrove tree, specifically a red mangrove tree, grows. Um, these are all from, I picked them out from Punta Gorda, Florida, about, I would say, um, if I had to guess, maybe January of this year from Florida. They were all just seeds, um, pods, right term technically. And I have desalinated them. I kept them in the same water uh, salinity that they were in, in down in Florida and slowly over time I have been um, dropping the percentage of that salinity to match my aquarium water. We're at 100% aquarium water now and as you can see these guys are pretty sizable. They're about I try to guess three feet tall and growing like crazy. I, I, I have some difficulties because the best growers as you can see are quite taller than the um, lesser growers and I have a differential the, the guys that are up top are getting all the light and they're causing me to have to push the lights up in fact if you look right here I was out of town for about a week in Hawaii and the plant grew so tall that it hit the light and burned itself so I have to be careful about that so I need to probably create a second grow bed um, and put the shorter ones in one place and the taller ones in another but Anywho, that is my red mangrove project. They are great filters for aquariums.
And not to mention just a lot of fun. How often do you see a plant that can grow out of pure muck water? So all that is that I'm growing them out of is lava rock, red lava rock from Home Depot. The silt is actually collected from uh, the same place that I got the pods down in Florida. So they do have their natural enzymes and things of that nature in there combined with the... I have um, pink convicts that I keep that I take their wastewater and pour it in here for nutrient for the plants and it seems to do perfect for them. So anywho, I just wanted to share this. I hope you enjoyed.